Welcome to Yarngasm. I'm Kristen, and this is episode 116. Um, I really don't want to call this episode 116 because it's going to be super short. Um, I did record on Monday, and I w when I sat down to edit in Final Cut Pro, I realized the audio did not record. Apparently, I had to uh, replace the battery in my little clip-on mic. So. I'm working with my iPad because I know I just don't have time to set up everything. So it's it's Thursday evening and I'm doing an impromptu episode. And I apologize for the quality, but at least you can hear what I'm saying. So we'll just roll with it, um, shall we? Okay, so yes, this is episode 100, uh, 116. And if you are just tuning in, this is not the normal way I record the show. So thank you for tuning in and thank you for bearing with me. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Yes, I am ready for this weekend because it is going to be Labor Day weekend in the States and me and Dennis are going away on vacation. So, as opposed to waiting, I won't be able to record over the weekend, so I'm doing it now. <laughs> so, okay. Um, yes, so that said, uh, there will be no shop update this weekend because, like I said, me and Dennis are going to be away and um, any custom orders or orders that you placed... Um, or any orders that will be placed over the weekend will not be shipped until we get back, oh, which will be, we're getting back Wednesday. So that Thursday, I will do my best to ship anything out that has not already been shipped out yet. Um, and also, I am working very hard to get your, those of you who subscribe to um, the Art Nouveau Yarn Club, I am going to have those ready to ship out by the second week in September because of the holiday weekend. So don't worry, they will be shipped out just the second week in September. So, and I promise it will be good. It will be good. And I just want to say, I am super psyched that all of you who received the first shipment, uh, the first installment of the Yarn Club, love it. Thank you guys. I, mean, I, I just love seeing, um, you, you post photos on Instagram and you, you're posting photos of what you're knitting with it. And in general, like any time that you guys post um, projects of what you're knitting with my yarn, I, I really enjoy seeing it. So keep them coming. Um, and if you haven't joined the yarn, ga um, well, yes, of course, the Yarngasm Ravelry thread. There's also a Volan Vine Yarns uh, Ravelry thread as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, thanks. Yay. Super excited. Um, that said, I want to keep this a super short episode because it's almost 10 o'clock. It's been a long week, guys. Um, yeah, very, very busy. And last weekend, I did not get to do a full on shop update because there were just life. Life happened and I'm juggling a full time job. So, um, yeah, that said, uh, what's off my needles? Oh my gosh, I have something finally off my needles for once. Um, I finished my reflector socks. Yay! I finished these over the weekend. Um, me, Maria, and Dana, also known as Dana Doodle Knits, uh, Maria from the Subway Knits podcast, we had an Outlander screening. Um, uh, yeah, so we just binge watched uh, Outlander because, long story short, I somehow managed to obtain the first six episodes through my job because <laughs> I interviewed them, interviewed the cast of Outlander. So the PR company sent me, very so kindly sent me the first six episodes along with a press kit. So I contacted Maria. I'm like, we've got to do this. So yeah, um, I spent that time, of course, enjoying Outlander <laughs> and knitting said socks. So um, yeah, I finished them. Um, again, this is on my Blitz base in the reflector colorway and just a basic vanilla sock and i'm so glad i finally got to cast these off because it's been way too long so yeah my operation sock drawer is slowly but surely under going underway um also on my needles uh is my feather or was it still is but i haven't really all right i'll just talk about it and i'll dish um I am co-hosting a knit along, as you know, with Molly from a homespun house podcast, which is a lovely, lovely podcast. You should definitely check her out if you have not. Um, it's also a video podcast and yeah. So, uh, we are hosting the co-hosting the classic must knits cal, um, which 
as I explained, is any pattern that you've always wanted to cast on or never had the chance to cast on that everyone's knitting but you just never got around to knitting or you cast it on and you just never got around to finishing it. Yeah, so that, you know, by that I mean like the featherweight, like I am kind of sort of knitting, um, and, or like the cobblestone pullover by Jared Flood, uh, Isolde Teague, she's got plenty of patterns, like the Ishbel, um, anything by Hannah Fessig, uh, Rocky Coast, anything by Maria Bem, because everyone loves Maria Bem, um, there's the Bem along, so patterns like that, um, and me and Maria, uh, me and, um, Molly have a running, um, a running list going on our respective, uh, podcast Ravelry groups. So definitely check that out. If you feel like joining, there will be prizes and it's running from, it started October, um, sorry, uh, August 1st and it's running through October 1st. So don't worry if there's no hard start date, end date, whatever, but, um, October 1st, we'll be announcing prizes, choosing winners. Um, I will actually be, uh, creating a separate thread for entrance and, uh, people who would like to en enter to win prizes. So I know there's a chatter thread right now. I just have to create the, um, official entry thread. So keep an eye out for that. Um, but yes, uh, I cast on the featherweight cardigan by Hannah Fettig. I've always wanted to cast one on, never got around to it. Finally did using my aerospace yarn in Nevermore. And this is baby alpaca, cashmere, and silk. So it's so lovely. Um, and I love it. I really do. I love the way it's knitting up. It's so soft. But for some reason, some unknown reason, I am not excited to work on it. I look at it and I'm just like, Ugh, do I really have to knit on it? And I don't want to feel like that when I knit on anything. And I even gave it another try over the weekend. I... Last week I was like, I'm done with it. I'm just going to frog it, but I stuck it out and I knit on it a little bit over the weekend and I still feel the same way. I already, I even separated the sleeves, separated the sleeves and I'm just not feeling it. I think I just want to do another yarn. I don't know. Not that I don't love this because this is super soft, but I know I'm just not going to enjoy wearing it. I don't know. I don't know. Different kind of yarn, guys. I think I'm more into like, I need like a darker charcoal gray. Not that I don't love this color. I just need something darker because I'm dark like that. I don't know. I'm going through a phase. I don't know. Go figure. But yeah, I've decided to cast on something else though. So I do have good news. Um, I decided on the, um, I feel like my screen is oh, it's straight, stable. Okay. Um, but I decided on the if you're not familiar with Rebecca Danger, she is the creator of, I forgot the name of the book, but she designs all these toys, like um, plush monsters. They're so adorable. She even has a book out. I will post a link to it um, in the show notes. And she actually created this um, narwhal. It's called uh, Norman the Nervous Narwhal. And I've had it in my queue forever. And everyone's knit her monsters and everything like that. And I am totally not a toy knitter at all, but I love, I love the narwhal. I have to have a narwhal. Yeah, I love, yeah. You got, I'm sure you understand because last week I had a t-shirt with narwhals on it. So, um, yeah, so I will be casting on uh, Norman the Nervous Narwhal using some hand-dyed yarn that I have. Um, kind of, it's actually dirty on purpose, but using McGinnis Worsted. I don't know. I no longer so um, can't talk. Wow. Oh, it's been a long week. Um, yes. So I will be <laughs> using some hand-dyed yarn, um, my dirty on purpose colorway, on some McGinnis Worsted, which I no longer stock because kind of fading it out. I don't know. I might bring it back if there's a demand for worsted weight. Let me know. Let me know what you'd like to see in the shop and maybe I can make it happen. I don't know. But right now I'm kind of focusing on fingering weight yarns and sock weight yarns. But if there's something, you know, if there's demand for it, let me know. Let me know what you'd like, you would like to see in the shop. And if there's enough requests, maybe I'll make it happen. Like I said. Um, so yeah, that is going to be cast on maybe hopefully on vacation. Um, but in the meantime, I'm also knitting, um, my Outlander socks for the Kilt Me Now cow that I'm co-hosting with CC uh, from the Geeky Girls Knit podcast and Maria from Subway Knits and Jasmine from the Get More Girls. So 
This, by the way, is a knit along based on the series, uh, the new star um, TV show on Stars, the Stars Network, uh, which is based on a book series by Diana Gabaldon. Needless to say, not for children. It's historical drama, science fiction, with a touch of romance, if you will. So there may be things in there that you don't want your children watching, reading, seeing. I'm just putting it out there. Not for kids. Not family friendly. Um, but yeah. So I, I created a colorway called Outlander. Um, and the inspiration, I don't know. Like I wanted to create a colorway, but I didn't have anything in mind. But then once I got some colors going in the dye pot or whatever, and then I looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's the Outlander colorway. I, I've, I found it. This is it. So, and so far everyone loves it. And I, oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. Thank you. I'm so glad you love the colorway because the demand is off the hooks. <laughs> I know it sounds like I'm tooting my own horn, but I have requests that I have to fulfill right now. And I just don't have the time right now. So I'm going to die up some more tomorrow when I come home from work because they may let us out early. Fingers crossed. So I will die up some more then. And then when I come back, I'm going to be dying up some more. So there will be more of Outlander in the shops. And this is it. <laughs> um, yeah. And I've been talking about it. And yeah, you're probably like, what does it look like? Well, this is what it looks like knit up. It's on my Blitz base. And I also have it available on any other base. My um, FTSE BFL, my Lush Merino Nylon Cashmere. Um, it can be dyed up on any base. So... But I know the Merino and Island Cashmere and the BFL are the most popular. So, um, but yeah, and I also have like another one. Um, I originally had it as a one of a kind, but there was actually enough demand for it. Like a lighter version of this. This might actually be kind of lighter, like as light as it gets, but yeah. So this is it caked up. Aww. And of course, I'm knitting on my Chiao Gouge. Yay! Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about, because I know I've been knitting on my rainbow socks, but last weekend was my mom's birthday, so we went up to Westchester to visit her for her birthday, and somehow I got her knitting. She wanted to learn how to knit, and I happened to have my rainbow socks on me, so I they happen to be on my Knitter's Pride Carbons, my US 1.5s, and then she's like, I want to give this a go, so I'm like, okay, if I give you these socks to finish, will you actually work on them? Will you knit on them? And she's like, yes, yes, I will do it. I will do it. I'm like, okay, let me know. Cause if you're not going to knit on them, I want them back. But I got her knitting and everything like that. I'm kind of, you know, if she calls me, I'm going to kind of walk her through how to finish said socks. I know it's a, I know it's an abstract thought, but I think she can do it. And I think I can hook her. I think I can. I don't know. But yeah, I, I came home and I'm just and I realized I don't have my carbons. Oh my gosh. So I panic bought some. Yeah, I panic bought some new carbons. And they came yesterday. I ordered from the Lubiu. And I love ordering from the Lubiu because they're so fast when it comes to oh, what did I do with them? Oh, here they are. Okay. They're so fast when it comes to shipping. Because I just, I needed them for vacation. So I'm like, okay, if I order them to, over the weekend, I know they're going to come by Wednesday. And they came yesterday. So I got some more carbons. It would help if they were, yeah. So they're US 1.5s um, and 2.5 millimeters. Yeah. And they're the 40 inch, 100 centimeter ones. And then I also got to kind of inspire me to finish Dennis's sweater before Rhinebeck. Probably I got some more Chiaogus in size eights. So they're 40 inch, uh, 100 centimeter length cord, and then um, size eight US and 5.0 millimeters. Okay, so <sighs> that's it. Yeah, that's what I've been working on. And spinning wise, I know uh, I have my wheel over there. So I. So my Acre Works bobbins finally came in the mail. Six weeks later, they finally came. Um, I ordered one in pink and one in green, which is on my Lendrum right now. Um, and I will explain in a second, but I know I'm jumping here, but on my Lendrum currently, and I know last week I showed this to you on my, on the wheel that my grandmother, that I rescued from my grandmother's basement. I love spinning on it, 
but it was just so rickety. I wasn't enjoying it anymore. Like I enjoyed it for what, you know, the nostalgia and everything like that, but it needs some love and it needs, I don't know. It's a child's wheel. It's small and it was starting to hurt my back. And I, I decided to move my gourmet stash, my lovely, lovely Outlander inspired gourmet stash, which is what the color is waterweed. Um, and it's majestic roving in two, it's two ounces of 50% yak and 50% silk and the green. Oh my gosh, this camera is not even doing it justice. It is so lush and some bits of gray in there and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, Kate so kindly sent these to me. Um, and yeah, so I bit the bullet and transferred it to my lend room and I love spinning it. And of course I had to get the tour of my apartment. <laughs> um, of course I had to get all matchy matchy and use my new acre works bobbin. Yay. But yeah, it's spinning up so lovely guys. I'm really liking it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that is what I'm currently working on and I want to keep this I'm already at 17 minutes. I want to keep this under 20 if that's at all possible. Um, I think it is. But, um, and I also wanted to show you, I was on my uh, featherweight cardigan. I don't know if you noticed, but I've been using these beautiful stitch markers. And these are handmade by the lovely Alex, also known as Midnight Crafter 11, who is awesome. She <laughs> sent me a whole care package of stitch markers. She is so talented, Alex. And I said this to you online. I said, you need to open up your own Etsy shop because these are adorable. They're beautiful. They have lobster claw clips. Um, let's see. And then she also sent me big stitch markers. Hello. All my favorite colors. I just love these. And she also makes um, jewelry too. This is my favorite. Oh my gosh, she is so cool. It's, it's a huge stitch marker, but I can use it as a keychain or just if I really want to get blingy with my knitting. She made one with my name on it. How beautiful is that? Thank you so much, Alex. This is awesome. But yeah, she also makes bracelets, earrings. She's the best. She is so cool. You better open up a Etsy shop, I'm telling you. You're talented. So yeah, you heard it from here. You heard it here. So thank you again, Alex. Um, but yes, yeah, so I wanted to show those off to you. And these will definitely be going on my next project. I, even though they're on my featherweight right now, they will be going on to another project um, because I really like knitting with them. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've been dyeing up some more, as I mentioned, Outlander. I've been dyeing up some more. Um, I've been working hard to get the second installment of the Art Nouveau Yarn Club out. Um, and I've also been dyeing fiber. I've been dyeing lots of fiber. So I'm slowly but surely introducing it into the Etsy shop. But on Monday, Monday or Tuesday, one of those days, the days, they, again, they bleed together. Um, I've been dyeing up fiber. This is what I've been dyeing up in my oven. <laughs> So this is on some Polworth silk. This is two ounces each. And yeah, these will be going into the Etsy shop. Hopefully, hopefully by um, this weekend. So there will be something in there. I don't know. I want to have something for you guys. Um, but we'll see. So that's that. Um, but other than that, I think... That is it. So happy Labor Day weekend to everyone living in the States. And until then, I will see you next time. Happy knitting. Bye.